officer Ross Bartlett? No, we rarely, rarely know who our uh, mission is for. Occasionally we know the people, but most of the time, no. So can you explain to me a little bit about what are you guys doing today? Uh, we're providing flag lines, uh, respect, honor. That's the main, <coughs> excuse me, the main issue. Um, we'll do a dignified transfer when they bring his remains out to place it in the hearse. That's standard military procedure for us. Um, all of our members aren't military. We're not, I'm a veteran, but some of us are civilians in the group. So um, we'll do that. And then we're gonna provide an S motorcycle escort uh, to, I guess it's the new other funeral home on O Street. And that's what we do, another dignified transfer. And then we just go home on our merry way and don't bother anybody. <laughs> how, how often do you do this every year? Um, it varies, I mean, <clears throat> The, we get some one summer <clears throat> excuse me one summer we did about uh, 200 of them um, and then last year we had a real slow period that, and hopefully it's because nobody was passing away but uh, it just varies um, on how many people find out about us our service is totally free it doesn't cost the family a dime we're volunteers I put my own money my own gas in my tank as long as the rest of our members so um, we're a total free service for anybody who requests it. First responders, um, such as today, um, veterans, um, killed in action military, Corporal Deegan Page, we were on his escort um, in Omaha. Um, we do them all the time. All we need to be is, it needs to happen is we just need to be requested. What does it mean for you guys to do this? It's uh, tough. <clears throat> every, every, everyone's the same, right? Yes. It's pretty difficult. And this specific case, it, it touched the entire community. Can you talk to me a little bit about, like, how do you feel about being here today? It's an honor. Um, <clears throat> we see the fire trucks, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, police departments from all over. There's one from Cedar Rapids. Yesterday, I noticed a patch going into the uh, funeral home for the visitation that said New York police. So, you know, it's pretty pretty widespread, um, a lot of support. Is it pretty um, unusual to see someone that has served in so many different departments and so many functions with an obvious heart for public service? Um, what particularly about this, uh, this service? Um, we see a lot of it actually. Um, people that were prior military that are law enforcement and, and in this state, a lot of the people are volunteer fire department, you know, they so they a lot of the people serve in multiple roles over their lifetime so um it's pretty common i mean does that mean a lot to you guys to yeah i was i was former uh, uh peace officer in california and uh militaries in the marine corps eight years national guard for six years and now here i am with the patriot guard so um even our members have multiple roles we have i think three or four guys that are here today that are former law enforcement so how many members do you have here um, how many we have, Sherry? I think all this time in the state. No, no, today. Today? Yeah, 20 or so. Uh, there's, yeah, about 20. Yeah, about okay. 20. That, that's kind of a standard and, until the weather warms up and the fair weather riders come out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I ride year-round. I've got heated gear. I ride in the winter as long as there's no ice on the road. Um, I'm one of the only ones that do that, but... Um, yeah, we have, we, it's statewide. Um, we have funerals out in uh, North Platte, and obviously we have people out there that take care of those because we're not going to ride that far to go out there. And, and uh, But surprisingly enough, we've had them from all over the place. Um, uh, for Corporal Deegan's funeral, um, or his escort from Epley, I noticed four plates that had Alaska plates on them on motorcycles. They were uh, active duty Air Force guys in Alaska and they transported their motorcycles down here to do that escort. So that's pretty impressive. Rain or shine, doesn't matter. You guys are out helping. Uh, yeah, it don't matter. The, the, we've been out in blizzards, we've been sub-zero, we've been in 103 degrees, it don't matter. I'm sure the families appreciate it too. Yes, they do. They, They'd probably tell you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, oh, thank you sir.